everyone's got a favorite on YouTube, so what's your favorite? We're going to discuss that today on this episode of the Adventurous Joe Show. And I'll tell you right now, our top ten list might shock and amaze you, but at the same time, so are our honorable mentions. The Adventurous Joe Show for this week begins now. Gameplay that was funny as hell, especially when he does that freaking uh, drop 
kick maneuver on the zombie, I was just then knocked it clear right off the roof. I was just enjoying the hell out of that. And uh, you'll get a kick out of his stuff too. And if you don't like what he's got to say, let him know it. If he gives a shit, he'll let you know it. Either way, you can follow his link down in the description as well. All right, on to our next one. She's lovely, she's gorgeous, and she's been mistaken for a porn star. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, she's been mistaken for a porn star. She had so much that she actually had to go on Pornhub and tell them to take down videos that were labeled SS Sniper World Porn, you know? What the hell? Her name is Leah, otherwise known to her fans all around the world, SS Sniper Wolf. And she does amazing mm, gameplays, video vlogs, and stuff like that with her boyfriend Sausage. What's uh, his real name? Is Ethan. Mm, Evan, by the way. Okay, either way, uh, they do great stuff together. I love her videos. Uh, mm, she always has something good to say about things. She, I love her mean comments, the video, when she sits there and reads about all these people that are treating her like shit and stuff. And she's just like, whatever, man, you know? It don't bother her. And you get a kick out of some of her stuff, too. She's a great person. You get to know her more. You follow her on Twitter, Facebook, and stuff like that. You can enjoy her content from her YouTube channel as well. The link is down in the description. Check out her amazing stuff. She does some great gameplays, especially her Call of Duty Black Ops ones, where she's trying to tell a story, but at the same time, she's getting her ass kicked on there, and she gets very mad about it. But it's still fun to watch. Either way, let's move on to our next one. Bruno, Mia, and Jerry make up the MMPR Toys crew. They are great at what they do. Bruno's uh, little feuds sometimes with Mia where he'll do something to her as a, you know when he's doing his toy review and it's like if it blows up on her or something like that and she's tired of being the test view thing, she takes vengeance upon him. It's like, oh, it's so good. That's why I'm team Mia. <laughs> Either way, they are great to watch. Their, their videos are great. They put a lot of great work into it. And a fun fact, Bruno used to work on Power Rangers. Actual Power Rangers, not toy reviews, actual Power Rangers. That's how awesome this guy is, okay? And his channel, their channel, excuse me, is great, okay? Mia puts a lot of hard work into editing all their toy reviews and stuff like that, making them come to life. So how you see the, to the Megazords come together and stuff like that, or the live action kind of deal with the action figures and stuff. It's awesome as hell. If you want to follow them, the link is also down in the description for their channel. And don't forget to check out their other channel, Divided as One. They do great video vlogs, talk about all their journeys, like uh, they go to New York or if they go to Oregon and stuff like that. They're great to watch, okay? You get, to, you get a kick out of them as well because you get to see the real side of them when they're not sitting there trying to entertain you and stuff. Okay, let's move on to our next pick. His name is Jonathan Tavares, and he is known to everyone on YouTube as Mr. Weenie Productions. He's also a great friend of mine. He does some incredibly great video reviews, toy reviews, and stuff like that for Power Rangers. And he loves to give his opinion on things as well. Like when he said Super Mega Force really suck, he wasn't kidding. He lets Saban and all them have it, you know, even though. It got his video flagged for some reason. <laughs> it was just weird. Okay, but it's funny as hell, okay? When he wants to state his opinion and say, yeah, it sucked, it sucked real bad and stuff like that, or no thank you, I don't want this and everything like this, I like his opinion on things. He does a great job about his reviews. He does a great job about answering your questions and stuff like that. And he tries to get you involved more into his real world and stuff like that. Not try to say, oh, well, I just do video reviews and stuff like that, and that's about it. No, he does things. He tells you about his family, how his dad's doing, how his mom's doing, his sister's doing, how his life is doing and stuff. And he gives a damn about your life as well. So, you want to follow Johnny? 
Follow him down. Follow his link down in the description down below. I am so sorry, Jonathan. I am so sorry I said that. Either way, let's move on to our next pick. She's cute, cuddly, and she's Japanese. But don't feed her after midnight. Whatever you do, don't feed her after midnight. Wait a minute, that's a mogwai. <laughs> We're talking about the lovely Raina Scully. And she does some great videos for Super Panic Frenzy. But she also has her own channel that she does some great videos of her own as well. Like, when she went back home to Japan, she was giving you a grand tour of everything about where she grew up what she did, you know, what kind of food she ate and stuff like that. And it's great to see her outside of the whole comedy thing and stuff. I like seeing her videos where she is the real her and stuff and not the entertainer her, okay? And I actually like both, but at the same time, I actually like seeing the real her when she's going around and doing all these things. And at the same time, trying to get you involved in her world, okay? It's great to see people do these kind of things, and that's why I suggested Raina Scully be my number five pick. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, you want to follow her link, it's down in the description. Okay, let's move on to our next one. His name is Mitch Dostin, and he does fantastic work on YouTube. He is known as Dash Star to everybody. And he does great video reviews of Star Wars. Everything having to do with Star Wars. If he thinks this thing is a bad idea, he's going to let you know it. If he thinks this is a great idea, he's going to let you know it. If it, he says, hey, this gameplay is kind of cool and stuff like that, I want you to check out my videos and stuff, boom! Go for it. He does great work. I've watched some of his gameplays and stuff like that for certain Star Wars games. Like his Lego Star Wars one is hilarious. And one thing I found out most of all, he really, really hates Ewoks. He really despises his Ewoks. He's like Star Killer on freaking The Force Unleashed uh, number two, where uh, you can punt Ewoks. Yeah, that I can imagine is Mitch all over the place. He would be punting Ewoks every chance he got. Just pow! There it goes. Goodbye, Ewok. Either way, if you want to follow his channel? The link is down in the description. Tell him yours truly, the adventurous Joe, Joseph Michael, sent you. And now, on to our next one. She's gorgeous, lovely, she does video game reviews, cos <laughs> cosplay things, Comic Con event conventions, video game conventions, so on and so forth. We're talking about the lovely Mary Chanel. She does great work on her videos all the time. She isn't afraid to tell you how things are. If she thinks something sucks, she's going to let you know it, okay? Even though uh, she gets a lot of flack from people sometimes about, uh, oh, well, who are you to judge anything? You're just down here for the money. Idiots. Yeah, there's idiots out there that will say the dumbest things. Either way, you can check out Mary Chanel's stuff. She does cosmetic things as well. She also does video game playthroughs and once in a while on things. You can also follow her on Twitch. She does great video game playthroughs on there. You should have watched her Resident Evil 7 one. That was hilarious. And I, I even put on there, uh, you know, um, when I commented on it, I said that. And uh, just uh, on a personal note, no Mary Chanel died during this game. <laughs> and she got a kick out of it. It's, it's true. No Mary Chanel's died on this gameplay. Thank God for that one. <laughs> Either way, you want to check out her channel, link is down in the description, and let her know yours truly, her friend, the adventurous Joe sent you. Alright, and now to our number two pick. She loves to say, I love you to the moon and back, and she means it with every ounce of her being. She's also a huge Michigan Wolverines fan and an awesome gameplay person, okay, and uh, when she wants to do a gameplay walkthrough, she will do the gameplay walkthrough, and she has fun doing it. She
she gets involved with her fans, and she loves meeting her fans and stuff like that, and all the conventions that she attends and stuff like that. We're talking about Julie, the one-shot girl, otherwise known to her one-shot nation as, like you said, the one-shot girl. Oh god, I'm stupid. <laughs> She does some fantastic stuff. She's incredible to follow on there and stuff. If you've ever watched one of her Twitch gameplay things or her YouTube play gameplay things, it's hilarious! Especially when she's playing with other people and stuff. Or like when she's trolling on GTA and looking and looking for people to, you know, mess around with and stuff. It's fun. It's a fun time all around. Julie is a fantastic person, the one-shot girl, people. To her one-shot nation, she loved you all to the moon and back, and we love her even further. Okay, and you can follow her, boom, in the description down below where her link is. And let her know, yours truly, Joseph Michaels, the Adventurous Joe, had sent you. Okay, now, before we get to our number one pick, it's time to see the honorable mentions. She talks about her sex life a lot, and she gives two. She could give two fucks about what you have to think about it. Okay, you don't like her stuff. You want to leave her bad comments. You want to say she's a blonde bimbo whore or anything like that. She could give a care less. We're talking about the lovely Miss Tara Babcock, my BFF for over four years now, close to five years now, and uh, she is spectacular. Why wouldn't she be our number one pick? Seriously, she used to be a part of the Adventurous Joe show back when we first started. We were showing all her stuff that she did, like her StarCraft uh, tutorials and so on and so forth, okay? Back when she was working for Zoomin.tv Games, okay? Now, she does her own thing. She's gotten bigger on both her vlog channel, her video game channel, and so on and so forth. And she does fantastic job on everything. Her unboxings are great. Her video game playthroughs with Jay are great. I meant seriously. You got to get in on this, okay? You want to enjoy her stuff? Enjoy her stuff. But don't sit there and bash the hell out of her. Okay. Oh, she's got fake tits. I heard it all before. Seriously. Back then when she was on the, the original Adventurous Joe show, Tara Babcock got nothing but in about it, okay? Oh, she's a blonde bimbo. Who gives a fuck what she's got to say? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, she got worse comments just for being, you know, fake tits and all this shit, more than I got about the whole, spit stealing everybody's stuff, you fucking bastard! Either way, you can check out my amazing BFF at her links down in the description. We got two of them down in the description. We got her game channel and her vlog channel. She also has another couple of channels down there, but YouTube limits us on how much we can put in the description. Oy vey. <laughs> Either way, you can check out her amazing stuff down below and let her know yours truly, The Adventurous Joe, Joseph Michael sent you all. And that's it for this week's episode of The Adventurous Joe Show. What did you think? Did you like our top 10 picks? Are there, were there some of your favorites? Or how about the honorable mentions? Did you think some of them should have made our top 10 list instead? Let us know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. And that's it, my adventurous ones. I will see you all next week on the next new episode of the
the Adventurous Joe Show. I will tell you right now, negative comments will not be tolerated on here. You want to say something mean, nasty, or anything like that, go to someone else's channel and say it. Don't say it on mine, because you will have your comment erased, and you will be banned right out the door. That's right. You will be banned from this channel, and you will never be able to comment on a damn thing again. So don't even think about it. We don't tolerate it on here anymore, and we will not tolerate it on here anymore. Either way, that's it. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new here and stuff. And, like I said, leave your comments. Let us know your thoughts on our top ten. If this episode was great, did your top ten make the list, or were they in the honorable mention section? You know, let us know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. And if you want to follow any of those that were honorable mentions, you can type in their name on YouTube and easily find them. Just like that. That's it. We will see you all next time on the next new episode of The Adventurous Joe Show next week. Until then, my adventurous ones, peace out. May the force be with you all, and we will see you all next time around. Stay safe out there, and have a great week. Later.